All right, so the deer skull that I'm bleaching right now, if you look right down in here, I've got some water and bleach mixture, and it's turning out pretty nice and clear. Before, it was um, really dirty, and if you can't really see in the water, there's like all kinds of junk that's coming out of it. So I keep on stirring it around so that that way I'm gonna keep the antlers all um, nice and natural. But I want that skull area to be nice and clean so that uh, when I paint it, it's going to adhere. And also, look at the crevices on the skull. Isn't that awesome? All right, so yeah. Oh, it smells like bleach. All right, so yeah, um, yeah, that's that's gonna be fun to do. All right, so yeah, that's a second update. The next one is going to be after I leave it out in the sun tomorrow because it's gonna be nice and shiny and bright, and um, that way, you know, whatever sun rays and everything is gonna sun bleach the skull and then dry it out so that, that way I can. Uh, I can paint it, but I'm not too sure about what colors that I want to do. Maybe you guys have some ideas. Um, I was thinking like Jägermeister colors, you know, but that's too obvious because it's a deer skull, but it could be cool. Green, green with red outlines, and I have to look up the... Um, the insignia that Jägermeister uses. Green, black, and red, I think it is. Uh, also, uh, there could be so many different things that I could do with with that, with that all the acrylic paints that I have. And then I'm gonna uh, tape off the antlers on the edges so that that way I don't spray the antlers because I want to keep those all natural. And then the skull is gonna be like, it's gonna be so awesome, it's gonna be epic. All right, so let me uh, stop this recording and update this, and uh, I'll keep you all updated on what's going good with it.